The presence of Andy Garner adds a dash of romance to an already intriguing cup tie. Quite an occasion for Garner, who's only 17, coming into Derby County's senior side for the very first time. He partners Bobby Davison up front because Paul Hooks pulled a muscle in a practice match this week. But if Garner's a raw recruit, Derby still have the likes of Archie Gemmell, Dave Watson and John Robertson. And on their experience, so much depends with the club in desperate need of more cup success to help solve severe financial problems. It's the same Norwich 11, which has already put out Aston Villa and Spurs, with Olga Harida available again in the centre of defence after suspension. The health of goalkeeper Chris Woods caused some pre-match concern, but he plays despite an attack at Migraine. And today's referee is Alan Saunders from Newcastle, fresh from the Everton Aston Villa Milk Cup semi-final last Wednesday. And we pick up the action in the first half. Half away by Gemmell. Green well by Garner, and Wilson on the break, he shrugged off Greg Downs, Kevin Wilson, and Wood's got a foot there, it's coming for Garner, and in too much of a hurry the youngster, but the better chance was Kevin Wilson's, and he'd done so well himself to create it, Garner, and Dean guides it back. But it was a buccaneering run by Wilson, but Woods was able to block it, and then Garner just trying to divert it on an awkward bounce. Shannon. gone and Haylock and Mendham work a short free kick and Shannon has made a yard of space and Barton has to concede the corner taken sterner action they didn't get international support it must be said for that policy so Chris Wood stays on the field Derby have to settle for a free kick which Buckley takes and Futcher might collect and make something of here Gemmel another free kick foul by Dubai Gemmell was quick to fall on contact. And Norwich under a little pressure here. And Wilson through a crowd in front of Woods. But Kevin Wilson in the opening 13 minutes really has been in the thick of things for Derby County. Buckley Davison against Horida and gets past it Wilson's gone to the near post did it cross the line no and Wilson will be disappointed because Bobby Davison here left Orga Horida for dead with that acceleration and it was a tremendous cross into the near post which Wilson met and Woods snaked out an arm and quite clearly it didn't cross the line. And what 
Robertson is queuing. Characteristic misjudgment from the Norwich captain. But Derby have the throw, and it's the other Dave Watson who sneaked forward. Powell, who went in strongly and has left Greg Downs flat on the ground. Maybe he took an elbow in the face. And it was a clash of heads, in fact, with Steve Powell. the saddest sight in football, the player leaving by way of the stretcher and Greg Downs is taken to the dressing room and there's no question now that Norwich will use Dave Bennett who's only just recovered himself from a long absence with the cartilage trouble who comes onto the ground now where he made his league debut five years ago this month. Garner, Davison pushing right up on the back man again, Robertson against Haylock, and Buckley who can drive them and does, and it was Davison who was foiled from the rebound as Woods beat out a stinging effort from Buckley. Davison collecting after a good challenge in the air by Garner and allowed the ball to run on to Bobby Davison. It'll come for Robertson, possibilities here for Derby County. Now, Haylock on Robertson, penalty. But John Robertson won't be taking it because he missed one here last Saturday against Blackburn. But he took on Paul Haylock and then fell to the ground. And Alan Saunders pointed straight to the spot. A protest from Norwich who feel that Robertson died. But the responsibility rests with Archie Gemmell. He scored from the spot a week ago against Blackburn after Robertson had missed the first penalty. And he scores against Norwich City in the fifth round of the FA Cup. And it's no more than Derby County deserves. Norwich will feel that Robertson used his experience to influence the referee. But Archie Gemmell made no mistake. Shannon, got the better of Steve Buckley, McShannon, Birchin at the far post, and maybe he was pushing, because the linesman flagged straight away. McShannon did well here, to skip past Buckley, and it was actually perfect far post cross, but Birchin was climbing unfairly. And Powell really seemed to hold the key in midfield now. Oh, he's seen the good times here, Archie Gemmell in his first spell with the club. Derby can hang on here and maybe add to their lead now with Bobby Davison. He kept his composure and just waited for the right moment as Woods committed himself off his line. Paul Haylock had given the ball away. And Bobby Davison showed what a good finisher he is. A hat-trick against Telford in the fourth round. And now giving Derby County the cushion of a two-goal lead against Norwich City. Free kick to Norwich. Now they need to make something happen at this free kick. Shannon 
this time with his back to goal. And Bennett. Harvey were out quickly at them. Maybe the free kick should have been taken again. Van Wyk. And Shannon. It's the closest, really. Norwich have come. And Cherry just put up an arm at the near post to keep out Shannon's effort. Good work here from Van Wyk. And it was a testing cross too, making the goalkeeper turn. Shannon was on target, Cherry stopped him. Bennett's corner. Was it over the line? Yes, from Dean. With four minutes remaining. 2-1. Norwich in a desperate hurry to get the game restarted. Dean shot, Barton in vain. And all the animation is drained from Peter Taylor and Roy McFarlane. 